Today, let us focus on GitHub Copilot in action. In this video, we are going to build a Spring Boot API from sample data. All the developers may able to relate to this, especially when we develop a prototype or a MVP product. We start with a, a set of sample data. It can be a JSON data or a CSV data and we'll build the APIs or the product out of that. Today we start with a sample JSON data, generate the corresponding entity classes and the data access layer classes which return this sample data to the UI and define the controller with the proper routing mechanism and execute it. Let us see how we can take the Copilot support to build this Spring Boot API from the sample data. I have a JSON file with the sample data which define a property details. The property detail consists of a set of attributes or property parameters and the Spring Boot application have the utility area and also the models which define the structure of this particular class and the DAV is returning some sample data to the controller. So if you look at the customer case, we have a customer class defined here. It's an entity class with or the model which defined the customer and the fields and a customer DAO which return a sample customer object and a customer controller which invoke the DAO and return the data back to the UI or as an API response. So let us take the exactly same approach for defining this property. So let me take part of this. I don't need the complete structure of the property. Instead of that, I'm going with a selected area that is from the ID till the offer. I want to define it as the property object. So let me invoke the Copilot chat and start asking Copilot chat based on the selected data define a property model and obviously I want to align to the customer model how I define the exactly the similar standards needs to be followed for my property model as well. So I am passing the customer Java as an input class for context setting. So let me see how Copilot is coming with a property model based on the selected data and the customer.java as the contextual information. Now it's going ahead and defining the property class. So definition is completed. Let us open the customer Java model. This is the customer model and I'm going ahead and creating this as a new class. Copy this code block into the customer area. I'm going to add a new Java class called property dot java and just replacing this with the new class and let us compare this with the customer class as you can see customer class contain a package import as models and define the property and it started from id till the offer as you can observe that it's not taken all the fields, the selected field that is from ID to offer with the proper type definitions. The offer looks true indicating a boolean and the type is a string. Similarly, ID will be an integer. So it's uh, aligned to the data types and also the naming convention or the structure is aligned to the customer model. So I have the complete property model is defined right now. Well and good. Now again, I need this DAO 
now so i'm going to use this property and the customer dao for defining a property dao or data access object needs to be returned from here let me ask copilot again i i need to pass this time property specific one that is a property java that is one file and also i need the customer dao file for understanding the structure or the pattern needs to be used that one define the property dao class based on property model and customer dao so it needs to go ahead and define a property dao based on the data on the property so it's went ahead and defined a sample property dao where it's returning all the properties right now there is only one property it's taken it can return multiple property if required and also it's defined the complete structure so i can call this uh, get all properties for returning this properties back to the ui so let me form this one as the data access layer component so going ahead here and adding a new java class called property dao dot java and replacing this one with a new one done it now we have the controller i have a customer controller here based on this property dao i need the similar controller for property data returning so this is the api class so let me just add the property dao as an input and asking copilot define a property controller based on i need customer controller as the file is already open here no need to pass it as an additional file if any file which is not opened in the id you want the context you can add it as a extra file here property da also open no need but uh, let me just pass it as part of the prompt so we need the property controller based on the customer controller that's a structure needs to be followed as it is in the customer controller so it's going ahead and defining the complete one it's provided this detail so let me copy and add it into the project as a new java class called property controller dot java replace the code so from the data we define the model and a data access layer returning a sample data and the controller or the rest api with a proper routing to return the data back to the ui so let us run this um, project right now i have the demo application i am going ahead and running this application the system is going to build and run this one started the application 8080 port let me go ahead and invoke that in 8080 localhost 8080 that is hello world and as we defined the routing as properties i'm trying to get the properties out of that you can observe that it's written the id name description till the offer the sample data is returned by properties one we are able to quickly develop the spring boot api or a controller out of the sample data that is a part of the sample data specified in a json file we started from the json data created the model based on the existing model schema and again define a dao it is not a proper data access layer but it's returning the sample data from the dao layer and then comes to the spring boot api or the controller area it's followed the same routing and the structure defined in the other controller 
Hardly it takes a couple of minutes to complete end-to-end -end generation of a Spring Boot API out of the data. Thank you.